Longtime Chancery Court Judge Billy Joe White passed away shortly after noon yesterday at the UT Medical Center in Knoxville. Joanne Pittman serves as the administrative assistant in the clerk and master's office at Jacksboro and worked closely with Judge White. She describes him as a wonderful man, a very intelligent, strong man, and a man who knew the law. White came from private law practice to the 8th Judicial District Bench during the Governor Ray Blanton years in 1978. The judge served five counties, Claiborne, Scott, Union, Fentress, and Campbell. Pittman says White suffered a stroke and a heart attack a couple of weeks ago and had been hospitalized since. Sources close to the court say Governor Haslam will likely appoint a replacement to finish White's term, which is up in 2014. Judge Billy Joe White, a native of Tazewell, was 76 years old. 43.6 million Americans are expected to travel at least a 50-mile radius from home on this Thanksgiving holiday. Law enforcement will be out in full force looking for speeders and drunken drivers. Lieutenant Don Boshears with the Tennessee Highway Patrol gives us some advice on driving over the holiday. Okay, Thanksgiving holiday period coming up. It's a busy time for us. It actually starts Wednesday at 6 p.m. and runs through Sunday night, midnight on, on Sunday night. Um, the Tennessee Highway Patrol will be out uh, in force, you know, conducting checkpoints, you know, saturation patrols, our normal duties, uh, you know, investigating crashes. Uh, there'll be a lot of people on the roadways, and we just want to remind everybody that, you know, you know, allow a little extra time. Uh, it is going to be traffic. It's going to be heavy. You know, not only do you have the holiday, but you have, you know, shopping has begun for the Christmas holiday, and it's just there's going to be a lot of people on the roadways, you know. Please allow a little extra time to, to get where you're going. Um, be a little more patient. Um, you know, we also want to talk, you know, a little bit about, you know, last year during the holiday period, there was um, statewide there was nine people died in traffic crashes. And of those nine, half of them was alcohol or impaired related. So we really want to get that message out. You know, the two most important things is, you know, don't drink and drive. The most important thing is, you know, seatbelt usage. Um, we really want to encourage seatbelt usage. Uh, making sure you're, you know, it only takes two or three seconds to buckle your seatbelt. And when you do that, you know, you, you increase your chances of, you know, surviving or not being seriously injured in a crash over 50%. You know, we, wanna, we want everybody to have a good, a good happy holiday, but uh, we want everybody to be safe. Campbell County Sheriff Robbie Goins tells WLAF that his office wants to remind all travelers whether they're traveling across the country or just across town, that one of the best ways to ensure a safe arrival is to buckle up every trip, every time. During the Thanksgiving holiday weekend, 64% of nighttime fatalities involved unbelted passenger vehicle occupants, while only 41% of daytime fatalities involved unbelted passenger vehicle occupants. Every day of the year, but especially during more dangerous travel times like Thanksgiving holiday and at nighttime, we are working hard to remind everyone to always buckle up, said Sheriff Robbie Goins. For more information about traveling safely during Thanksgiving, please visit www.trafficsafetymarketing.gov As we're on the doorstep of a holiday that centers around food and giving thanks, many people here in Campbell County are looking for food and a good meal. Area churches are stepping in to help. Today, the Word of Life Church on Loop Road is giving away food baskets. That started at 5 o'clock and will last until 7. In the old Ford Town Church building, now on Thanksgiving Day, Cedar Hill Baptist Church on Demery Road serves lunch from noon 
to 2 and Coolidge First Baptist Church on Long Hollow Road is hosting a Thanksgiving meal beginning at 1 o'clock. The Campbell County Cougars will play this evening at 6 o'clock. They will play at Fulton. Hear the game here on WLAF. With the Thanksgiving holiday tomorrow, there will be some closings. The Campbell County Courthouse will be closed Thursday and Friday for the holiday. La Follette Utilities will also be closed on Thursday and Friday, and there will be no mail on Thursday. The banks and most city and county offices will also be closed. If you're ready for Black Friday, some store hours here locally are that Sears will be opening at 4 a.m. on Friday. Smith's Hardware will open at 7 a.m. Be sure to check our local shops for Black Friday bargains. And here's a little humor to leave you with today. May your stuffing be tasty, your turkey be plump, may your potatoes and gravy have nary a lump, may your yams be delicious and your pies take the prize, and may your Thanksgiving dinner stay off of your thighs. And that's a look at our news for this Thanksgiving evening. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back with a press release from the Sheriff's Department. And five people were booked into the Campbell County Jail during the past 24 hours, according to the press release from the Sheriff's Department. Thurman Gregory Baird, age 31, of Demery Road, La Follette, for aggravated assault by domestic violence. 43-year-old Martin C. Davis of Rose Hill Drive, La Follette, for public intoxication. Barry Michelle Davison, 49, of East Walden Street, La Follette, an attachment for child support. 32-year-old Johnny Ray Edgar of Maryville Pike in Knoxville for aggravated assault by domestic violence. And last today, Eric Seth Miller, age 26, of Alexander Circle, La Follette, for criminal trespassing. And we thank you for joining us. Hope you have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow, and be sure to join us. We'll be back with the news for you tomorrow evening. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, This is Bunny here with you on this uh, Wednesday afternoon for uh, the Birthday and Anniversary Club, which is sponsored by WLAF and Eastside Pizza. And we want you to call in or write in or however and get your name in for the list, and that way it qualifies you to win dinner for two for the birthday or the anniversary winners from Eastside Pizza. Now today we have, and on our uh, birthday list, we have Joan Hill celebrating a birthday and Mackenzie McIntosh who is seven years old, and we want to wish Joan and Mackenzie a happy birthday. And all of you who didn't get your name in here, we wish you a happy birthday, too. But to be eligible for our prize drawing on Friday for the dinner from two from Eastside Pizza, you have to get your name on our list, so be sure you do that. Now, today we have no anniversaries to announce, so we'll be with you again tomorrow for the Birthdays and Anniversary Club, sponsored by Eastside Pizza and Deli.